how do we like the hair I've been wearing it like this pretty much the last two weeks straight and you're probably gonna see a few videos with this hair because I'm filming a few videos today and I'm not taking it out <laughs> hi guys welcome back I'm Dana if you did not know and here on my channel we review lots of things like sunscreens mainly sunscreens but other stuff as well including skincare the occasional makeup um, and yeah you know I like to sit down and go through thorough product reviews especially when it comes to a new sunscreen release and that is exactly what we're doing today this is the live tinted hue guard so I believe right now this is only available in the US I know that um, live tinted does sell on cult beauty if you're in the UK or EU but I don't think their sunscreen is available now so I do apologize for my international viewers but for you, those of you in the US we're gonna talk about it apply it to my face let you know my thoughts let you know all the things before we get going you know I'm gonna ask you please do like please do subscribe you can like it at the end if you want to wait and make sure that you actually like the video you can like it right now if you like me for some reason <laughs> um I don't really care when you like it but please do it does help so much and I also appreciate you watching so thank you in advance okay let's get into it this is the live tinted it's called hue guard three-in-one mineral sunscreen moisturizer primer broad spectrum SPF 30 so got that out of the way SPF 30 also I've got my tea I have three bags of green tea because your girl needs some caffeine this morning so excuse me while I drink some co no not coffee tea okay so this retails for $32 and it comes in 50 milliliters or 1.7 ounces this is a standard si I don't know why I'm holding it all weird this is a standard size for sunscreens um, and $32 is pretty mid-range not too expensive not too cheap I will tell you it took like almost two weeks for me to get this from when I ordered it so I think they were overrun with orders and it took a long time and they are a smaller ish brand but that was not my favorite thing at all and as far as active ingredients we have 18.23 percent zinc oxide which is a mineral or inorganic filter so that's the only one in it the rest of the ingredients are inactive ingredients and we'll go through that in a second I did want to comment that this is in a pump style so you've got your little top and it goes on like that and I do really enjoy the kind of like method of getting it out um, as you can see you can just pump a little bit onto your hand and they do on their website and I think on the bottle maybe not on the bottle on the website it says three to four pumps but you guys know I like to start slow thin small layers regardless of if it has a tint or not um, and yeah so the other the next thing on my checklist is scent and this one is very interesting because on the bottle on the website everywhere even on reviews I was looking through some of the reviews because I like to see like what do other people think I mean it doesn't really influence my decision but sometimes I'm like oh like they do not think what I think at all <laughs> um, but everyone is like yay fragrance free and I'm like I feel like I smell like banana or something but it also can just be like the mineral scent of it um, sometimes certain mineral SPFs do have that like kind of unique scent but to me this smells like banana I don't mind it honestly and maybe it's not like a hundred percent banana but it does smell I don't think fragrance free is the word I would use so I don't know if you've tried it let me know what you think it smells like because maybe I'm crazy but it definitely smells like something to me so that was two pumps and I'm gonna keep going ow I cut no I didn't my cat like clawed me you can't see it but it's right there and I didn't want to put a band-aid on because like then that really gets in the way of applying sunscreen but it's like burning and singing right now <laughs> so exciting okay before we get into more of it let's go through some of the ingredient callouts this one actually doesn't have any on their website their marketing I was super kind of impressed by that because so many times with skincare and sunscreens brands will be like oh we have this extract and this and that and that and it's kind of like well but that's not why you 
are getting your sunscreen, like those are bonuses and they're basically going to hike up the cost for a lot of things. So for me, I actually really enjoy seeing a sunscreen that just tells you about the sunscreen, tells you if it's mineral, tinted, blah, 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 all these things, and doesn't kind of like build up these little extras, which for my skin, they're not going to actually do that much, but you know, that's just me. Anyway, um, in it is sea buckthorn oil. They actually don't really call that out. You actually have to look through the ingredients and find it. It's not something that they would call out. Whereas a lot of brands for sea buckthorn, they would definitely call it out. And I'm curious, I think, and this could just be like me postulating. There it is. Can you see it? <laughs> I'm wondering if that's what's giving it the color. Um, sea buckthorn is like this bright, vibrant orange. And I'm wondering if that is part of it. And I have no problem with that if it is. This is just a hypothesis. I have no idea if that's correct or not, but. If it is, that's pretty cool. There are, There is also this thing called cut leaf ground cherry extract and they have iron oxides, which are actually, there's some new research saying that they are good for the visible light that we receive. So, you know, you have UVA and UVB, but visible light is like the sunlight that you see. And there is some, I, I think it's very new research, so I'm not gonna say for certainty, but iron oxides is not a bad thing to see in a sunscreen and this one definitely has some. And then I would say the majority of the other ingredients are what we call functional ingredients, which are just ingredients that make it perform, make it feel nice, make it go on and make the ingredients work in conjuncture together. So that's again, I love to see that. For me, a sunscreen is a functional part of my skincare routine. Just like you would have a retinol, you don't need it to be all fancy and like all these things, you just want it to work. Same with the sunscreen. So for me, it's fine if it doesn't have all these extra bells and whistles, I just want it to actually work and protect me. They do call it a three in one sunscreen. So they say moisturizer, sunscreen, and primer. I mean, maybe, 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 maybe for oily skin, I would say, and we'll get into that in a second. But I, I don't know if I would go so far as to say it's all those things. I would just say it's a sunscreen. And I say that because I don't find, I mean, I guess it's like a little tacky, but it's not super tacky in the way like some people like a primer. Um, I don't find it to be exceedingly moisturizing either. <laughs> and then as far as the finish, you can see right now, this is after applying it maybe like not even five minutes ago. It does have a nice glow to the, my skin, but nothing like overly glowy. Not like the um, La Roche-Posay Hyla B5. That one is like phew, disco ball. This one, I like it. It looks like I have like nice healthy skin. After a few hours though, I do notice that it dries down quite a bit more. And so that is kind of one of the things that I'm gonna talk about in a second, but um, I would be careful if you have very dry skin or even just dry skin, because this might be a little too drying for you. So Cass, do we know her? Nope. Guys, this is truly, truly, truly one of the best no white cast mineral inorganic sunscreens that I've tried. And I'm looking at my, like I've got, sunscreens over here. This is the Tula one. There will be a review coming on this if it's not up already. This is a tinted one though. And while this is definitely like tinted, I don't find that it acts as like more like makeup. Like this kind of, you know, it acts like makeup. Now, if I take a makeup remover or like a, um, or cotton round and swipe it on my face, it will have pigment on it because it is tinted, but I don't find that it operates like makeup. I feel like it just kind of like makes me look like evened out and natural. Like, I don't know. I just really, really like it for that purpose. And I like, I think the fact that it's kind of this orangey color instead of like a brown tint, which is what you get into problems with when you have a tinted sunscreen and they're like, it works for all skin tones and it doesn't because it's too light or it's too dark. This one is not a normal skin tone. Like nobody's skin is this orange and it's kind of a muted orange. It just hides the zinc oxide and kind of gives you this nice radiant glow, at least on my skin tone. Um, a few more things about it. It does have a more, it's not fluid in the sense of maybe like the Dr. Brandt one. I will show you a picture of that one and I have a review on that. I will link that above as well. That one is very fluid. It is like almost like a milky water. This one is, it's still like a cream, but you do have the pump. So it's gonna have like a little bit of a thinner consistency. I just find that it spreads so easily, which is a huge part when you have a mineral or inorganic sunscreen. One of the biggest challenges is that it's gonna be super heavy, super chalky. And look at that, like 
it just goes on so nicely and you don't have to rub a lot. You really just, that's it. I mean, I keep going like that's it and it's not, but truly it does blend in very easily because of the fluid nature of it. Okay, and the last, second to last, how would I wear this? So as you can see, I love, love, love just alone. Like I think this is such a beautiful base for me because I don't tend to wear a ton of makeup. Um, I think it kind of like just smooths everything out, gives me a nice healthy glow. Even my eyebrows, like usually I can tell if it's a mineral sunscreen and like I've got it in my eyebrows. I feel like it doesn't do that. So I'm happy to walk out of the house just like this. I'm happy to wear it under makeup. It doesn't pill. You can put on quite a bit of it. I think I did six pumps of it, which is they say like three to four. So I go overboard, of course. Um, and it's not going to pill, at least for me, it hasn't. Now, if you have drier skin, I would definitely load on moisturizer beforehand because I think part of it is that it's got 18% zinc oxide and zinc oxide can kind of be dry. And I think we forget to think of that when we're thinking of mineral or inorganic sunscreens. Zinc oxide, one of the properties is that is it is drying. I actually had a case of poison ivy this week and I was using calamine lotion and I looked at the ingredients and it was calamine and zinc oxide. And then I read about it and I was like, it needs to dry out your reaction to the poison ivy. And that's part of what zinc oxide does. So if you are dry or skinned, I would say just load up on moisturizer or kind of like play around, see what you need. Maybe a serum and a moisturizer. If you are more normal skin, I don't think you need a ton, but it also depends on the weather and time of the year, all these things. And then if you are more oily skinned, I think this is going to be your holy grail. This is going to be just a beautiful, beautiful mineral tinted, but no white casty sunscreen. So if you could not tell, I am kind of obsessed with this. Like I've tried out a lot and I've seen like over the years come and go and I've seen some new ones that I was really impressed by, but out of all of them that I've tried that are tinted in mineral, I would reach for this over all the others just because I feel like it's the easiest, like no fuss, no frills, doing its job. Um, the one thing that I do kind of like factor into my decision for the final rating is that it could, it can sometimes feel a little drying on my skin. So I just need to keep that in mind and make sure I'm moisturized beforehand. So my rating, it's a good one, guys. I would say like eight, nine out of 10. Um, it kind of depends. If you have more oily and darker skin, this is probably gonna be like a nine slash 10 almost. It could definitely be your holy grail. If you have very dry skin, I would definitely add moisturizer beforehand or maybe not try this because it might be too drying. But for a lot of people out there, including people that have really struggled to find a mineral sunscreen with no white cast, this is going to be a really, really great option. And I think $32, I would spend it over and over because it is worth it. And I'm just very, very pleased with it. So good job, Live Tinted. <laughs> I, oh, I did buy their little eye patches, which are not worth the money. So if you're if you're wondering, they have a lot of other things, but those are the two things I've tried. This one, a big, big win for me. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.